Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am doing a two-step process of soap making. I'm going to make my Planet Earth bars and I just love these soaps. Uh, the last time I made this soap I used a fragrance that discolored a little so I started with a very bright globe you know with the blue the green and the white for my little um, earth globe and uh, it discolored and it got a little dingy and so I'm using a fragrance that doesn't discolor today. Hopefully, the review said it didn't discolor. So it's Blue Agave from Nature's Garden, and this smells fantastic. It's it's just beautiful. So I don't really. I'll read the description when I pull it out, but um, fantastic. So and it says it doesn't discolor or cause acceleration or separation. So I've never used it before. I look forward to using it today. So to make my little globe earths for this soap, I have my little PVC pipes and my little flexible cutting boards that I just cut to fit in here. It makes unmolding a dream. Um, this is just how I do it. Uh, you can use freezer paper. Um, some people put it in the freezer and pop them out, but this is just what I have found works for me. So I'm not messing with a good thing. This is how I do it. The way that I seal the bottom on these, they do come with caps. You can get rubber caps and stuff. I don't have them. What I do have is some melt and pour soap and these little ramekin cups. So literally, I just melt, I mean the teeniest bit, like an eighth of an inch of melt and pour soap. I pop this in here and let it harden up and it makes a perfect seal on the bottom. It doesn't, it just pops right out. So um, that is how I seal the bottoms of my little column molds. It just works for me. I use the tools that I got and this is what I have. So that's my way. The colors for my globe today. So the majority of our earth that we live on is ocean. So it's blue. For my blue colored ocean, I'm gonna be using this uh, matte cobalt blue. It's an ultramarine. I mean, check that out. But I really want, you know, the colors to pop on the globe here. So the blue color for my green for the earth portion is going to be my matte woodland green. So this is uh, this is a pigment. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, these two, it's going to be the earth, the ocean. And for my sky slash, um, you know, mountain peaks, there's a little bit of white. When you look at a panoramic view from outer space down to the earth the main colors you see are blue green and some white so I have my titanium dioxide <laughs> what I do this is water soluble TD that I do one part titanium dioxide to two parts of water and I put it in here and it's got little marbles in the bottom that keep it mixed because it will settle and separate so I'm going to use TD in this. I'll do it in the pot swirl with my blue, green, and white, and then pour it in my column molds today and let them sit overnight till I can unmold them. And then tomorrow I will make the base, the outer space surrounding the earth, which I'm just going to use my activated charcoal. Um, this will be an aloe vera soap because it's green and I was thinking of the earth and, you know, just earthy things. So aloe vera is going to be the liquid portion today. I got the scent. I got the colors. I think that's it. I'm going to get everything pulled together and get my earths poured, earths, my little globe things poured today. And then tomorrow we'll come back and do the sky surrounding the earth. And hopefully, if it doesn't discolor, these are going to look vibrant and beautiful. So let's make some soap. All right, I'm all ready. Here's my oils and butters, uh, ready to put my dry additives in the oils. And I wanted to read the scent description for this blue agave because it smells so good to me. Uh, it says top notes of lime, lemon zest, apple, and black currant, followed by middle notes of lily of the valley and rose petals sitting on base notes of oak moss and white woods. So um, it just smells really good to me. So it's kind of complex, but it's wonderful. And I think it's gonna be perfect for these planet earth bars. So with all that being said, I'm making a small batch here to fill my little column molds, cylinder molds. I'm gonna use um, my colloidal oats and I'll use about half because this is a half batch size and half scoop of my kale and clay. Um, I do have the fragrance in here already because I want it in everything and uh, it got great reviews. So <laughs> I'm taking a chance, I've got it in there. So I'm gonna get this all blended up, let it sit for a few minutes while my lye solution cools, and then we'll come back and get to pouring our little earth molds. All right, I'm ready to pre proceed forward <laughs> with my lye solution, which is aloe vera juice, uh, cane sugar, and then sodium hydroxide and sodium lactate. 
And that's what's going on in here. Oh yeah, and Tessa Silk Fibers. Goodness, almost forgot the silk. So I'm gonna hand stir this to emulsion and then pour off into my colors since the fragrance is already in here. I just want to be cautious. Uh, and then we'll stick blend as needed after we get them split up. But, oh, it smells so good. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't discolor. It says that it doesn't. So, all right, we've got emulsion going on. And I'm going to go ahead and pour off. So I want the most to be blue since most of our earth is covered in ocean. And then next we'll do some green for our land mass and then I'll just put some TD in here um, for the white portion. about 24 hours and it's time to get my little earth embeds out of the mold so it's pretty easy that melt and pour you can see how shallow it was it's very shallow in here and they just literally just push out so and then there's a little plug on the bottom I'll show you how I get rid of that uh, the sodium lactate in the batter really helps with unmolding the embeds so I would recommend it all right well it unmolded like a dream here um, it was a little fluid when I poured it, so I hope it's not too muddied up inside, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to get this, the rest of this soap made. So I'm gonna get these unmolded, and we'll move on to our uh, surrounding sky, which is the activated charcoal portion of the soap. So I've got my base oils here, and the reason they're this creamy color is because my basement is very cold and these sat overnight, but it's all going to be fine. So it's time to add my additives in. Uh, I already have the fragrance in here. I'm not doing any swirls or anything, and it behaved beautifully yesterday. So fragrance is in here, and to my oils, I'm going to be adding my regular additives, which is my kale and clay here, and my colloidal oats. And then I am going to go ahead and just uh, put the activated charcoal in here too since the entire sky surrounding the globe is going to be um, black, the activated charcoal. So I will get my scooper out and this again, charcoal is such a mess to work with but it's so worth it. So this is a two tablespoon scoop. I'll just put it right in there. All right. Get this all blended in and let them absorb and then we'll get to adding our aloe vera lye solution. All right, time to move on with my aloe vera lye solution. This has cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate going on in here. And of course, aloe vera and lye, but 
get that poured in. I'm going to get this blended up to a nice medium trace because I want those earths to suspend. I don't want them to sink down to the bottom. It's the next morning and um, it's too early to cut this, but you can see it's just a little dull. It doesn't really have too much soda ash, but it's very plain. So I've got my handy dandy clothes steamer plugged in and it's all steamed up here. And so if you just run it around on the top of your soaps, it glosses it up. And if you do have soda ash, it really takes that down and just brings back the shininess. So of course it's wet as I'm steaming and I will walk away from this for a few hours and go start my morning, um, but it will dry and keep that shine to it, a shiny sheen. <laughs> and it just adds a little something, totally unnecessary, but I like it. I just aesthetically, when there's a simple top and it's dulled out like that, I think that the steaming just makes it look a little brighter, a little prettier. So this is wet. But when I come back in a few hours and it's dry, you'll see that it will keep a little bit of shine to it. So we'll be back in a while. So it's been a good couple of hours since I steamed the top. It is dry to the touch, but you can see it just retains a little bit of shine. And I just think it, aesthetically that that looks prettier than the dullness, especially when you have a very plain top like this with no color variation. Anyway, I like the shined up tops. Cannot wait to get in here. Oh my. I am a little concerned that um, those little earths, the batter was fluid. I hope the colors aren't too muddied up. I really hope they look good, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to get in here. Adventures in soap making, right? It's never dull. I think each batch, even when I do simple batches, they're always just fun, and you never quite know till you get there. All right, <laughs> let's get this log split.
time to cut off my little end piece here that I do this on my batches and I save these in bundles and sell them together. Oh, cool. All right. So let's keep going here and get into these bars and see how it looks. Uh, so last night I did put this uh, a lid over the mold, my workshop heritage mold, and I did put a blanket over that. So this did go through gel phase. And I was curious to see if I would get steric spots, but I don't have any. Oh, I think they look really cool. Okay, I'm pretty happy. It's a little muddied up, but still, to me, the earth vibe comes across. So I do tend to like gel phase on my soaps. Um, I have a lot of soaping acquaintances that do not gel their soaps. They put it in the refrigerator and their soaps are gorgeous. But it's just a personal thing. I tend to like to go through gel phase. So I'm digging these. Really, really happy. And look how pretty the gloss on the top. I just feel like it adds a little something. So can't wait to get farther in here and see how these little earths are panning out.